Welcome to Worship Mechanics. I'm Ryan Daniel, and this is the first installment of this blog. Worship Mechanics is a place where worship leaders can get together, share tips and experiences um, with other worship leaders as we encourage each other in better ways to, to do our job and to, to serve the Lord in doing so. So I thought it was fitting for a first topic to address what is worship. Now, before we get into uh, the definitions, I want to clarify that there are actually two contexts that we're looking at. There's a Sunday morning context where we all get together and gather and worship and receive of the word. And then there's the behind the scenes context where we do all the programming and uh, we do all the recruiting, working with volunteers um, and scheduling and, and all that stuff. OK, so um, a definition that I use a lot with helping the congregation on a Sunday morning kind of come under a unifying banner is a definition that was shared with me. Uh, by a mentor of mine, Dan Adler from Heart of the City. And the definition goes like this. Worship is our response to God for who he is and what he has done in light of who we are and what we have done. And that definition, when shared on a Sunday morning, is a great umbrella for more people to, to gather under. But however, I found that I needed a, a slightly uh, more all-encompassing definition uh, when referring to my sound text, my visual text, uh, my, my, my drama people, my dance people, my production people, the volunteers, the musicians, and the singers um, in building the worship program. So in looking at a definition that I believe is a little more all-encompassing for the worship ministry, I looked at a couple places in the Bible where worship would be considered the purest. And what I mean by purest, it means that there is no sin element involved. Okay. Um, and those places are revelation at the end and Genesis. So I have based my definition in Genesis simply because let's see if man was created to worship God, what did God set up? What did he approve of before sin entered into the world? And if we were to quickly uh, summarize Genesis, Pretty much, God placed man in Eden, gave him a job to do, and had fellowship with him. Those are the three key elements that I would like you all guys to kind of focus on, because that's the, those are the three elements upon which the, the definition is going to be based. God take man, male and female man, placed them in the garden, gave them a job to do, and had fellowship with them. Eden... Uh, the word Eden, according to Miles Monroe, means spot or place. So from that scenario, God set it up like that. He looked at it and he said, hey, I like this. This is good. This is a great system. So based on what God set up, my definition for worship would be this. Worship is being where God has placed you or being where God has called you to be, doing what he wants you to do while having fellowship. So in establishing a, an umbrella where all of my musicians and my singers and my artists and drama people and dance people and, and visual people and sound people can get under, that's the definition I use. So, so everyone who wants to become a part of, of my worship team or my worship ministry, that's really the, the bar. That's the initial question. The question is, are you where God has placed you? Are you doing what God has called you to do? And are you in fellowship? I hope this was helpful. It's the first installment of Worship Mechanics. See you next time.